Are we in California or Arizona or Mars? Look at this. That's really cool. We've had a lot of rain lately in Southern California, which of course is a good thing for the environment as the severe drought is lessening and feeding the water supply. But from a cultural perspective, the city is pretty dead when it rains, and if you're vulnerable like myself, the seasonal depression can really get to you. And while I do love the coziness of a rainy day, the after effects in LA are even better, because not only do you get some pretty fantastic waterfalls around the county, but it can be inspiring to get outside again into the sun, something we sometimes take for granted every day. So in this video, let's explore some natural wonders to ease the blues, beginning a journey on the very man-made 405. And reporting live from the 405, heavy traffic heading up north. It will take about 45 minutes to go 20 miles. Classic LA. Now we enter PCH territory. This is my favorite little drive right here. Look at this. Oh, nice. And we're exposed to the ocean and the palm trees in Santa Monica. winter and it's 66 degrees! <laughs> okay, okay, we're definitely not in PCH anymore. Where are we? We're here in Topanga Canyon and it is basically like a community here. I didn't even realize so many people live up here. This is the most sketchiest narrow road I've driven on in a long, long time. Like, what is this? A river next to the road? Like, how? Is this a one way? Okay, so this has to be the most serene place ever. One moment I was on the busy PCH, the next moment I'm here, like in the middle of nowhere, up in Topanga Canyon at Red Rock Canyon Park. Let's go explore. This place is serenity. Thank God we got a lot of rain last week. Now I feel like all of those days inside were worth it. I can hear the water flowing, which is not a common occurrence in LA. But you know what, hey, it's an adventure. A very muddy adventure, I thought. I feel like this maybe has to be like the coolest walkway I have ever seen in the Los Angeles area. Like, what is this? Damn. So this is Red Rock Canyon Park here in Topanga Canyon in the Santa Monica Mountains in Los Angeles. That's a lot to take in. Can you tell why it's called Red Rock Park? Now this is something you don't see every day. A payphone? What? This whole place feels archaic. From a payphone to these very old geological rocks and sandstones. This is not the city of LA. Hidden in Topanga Canyon, you'll find fossils and cespi formations dating back 40 to 20 million years ago, which adds color to the Santa Monica Mountains. While I'm no geologist, it's really cool to be around something so naturally occurring, especially in a city like LA where their freeways, streets, buildings are all obviously man-made, and even the palm trees we regularly see aren't native to Los Angeles or California, they were all planted here. So it's just a pleasant reminder of this weird earth we live on and how we built a city on all of this and take it for granted so much. This was a bit of a jump scare. Someone left their clothes on this trail. And then there's all these rocks. It's giving like a satanic ritual or something. This is pretty cool. 
Okay, hear me out. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. California was in an exceptionally severe drought up until around last year when the rainy days and storms and hurricanes started to become a little more common. A flowing river. It's nice to see flowing water though around the city and massive waterfalls, which we'll get to later in this video. It's healing in a way. Not only is it great for the state's water supply, but with constant doom and gloom going on in the world and media right now, and California's insane cost of living and hardships so many residents are going through, it's the little th reminders like this and a reason why I love hiking, because it takes you away from all that just for a little bit and places you in a state of wonder. Oh shoot, but look at this. You can see the snowy mountaintops right above these green lush trees. That is a cool view. I think what's really cool about LA too is that everyone thinks it's all this hustle and bustle all day long. But if you like get up into a hiking trail in the Santa Monica Mountains or Topanga Canyon, there's like no one around. So it's kind of like living in a rural area, a suburban area, and an urban area all in one. That's just my take on it. Los Angeles is the only city in the United States divided by a mountain range, the Santa Monica Mountains, which is home to over a thousand plant species and 500 mammal, bird, reptile, and amphibian species. The serenity of this natural setting and being around these red rocks that make you feel like you're in either Arizona or Mars had me wishing that Red Rock Canyon State Park, not to be confused with this one called Red Rock Canyon Park, was closer by, and that park sits about 120 miles east of the city in the desert. Coincidentally though, after a road trip I went on about a week later, I found myself passing through this park and made an effort to stop here. And Red Rock Canyon State Park was completely mesmerizing. And this is a little different as we have endless red rocks and canyons and sandstones and everything you could ever imagine and it's also really freaking windy. Within the layers of rock is an exploration playground for paleontologists. For almost a century, paleontologists have been studying the endless layers and rocks, making important discoveries about the history of mammals in this area, and the rock formations and hoodoos formed by erosion make a great backdrop for Western films shot here, such as The Big Country, and also notable ones like Jurassic Park, The Mummy, and even HBO's Westworld. It's like the Stone Age here. It almost looks like there's columns holding up the rocks here. And then it almost looks like there's man-made stripes going across the wall. And I think a lot of movies were filmed here, according to the Visitor Center. I thought Red Rock Canyon Park in Los Angeles was cool, but this is a whole different level. Oh, now I really feel like I'm on a different planet. Anyway, I'm not even sure what this vlog is about the more I edit it. It's just really cool, I think. And while California and LA is surrounded by so much natural beauty and wonder, you can't forget about the waterfalls right now. Because those you can't see every day. Let's take it over to Malibu. Pretty treacherous hike over here in Escondido Falls. Had to get your feet a little wet here. But oh my god, this waterfall. I've never seen something so magical in LA. Pause here. Do I say this a lot? Escondido Falls is a popular, pretty easy hike in Malibu to the waterfall. But some people, the thrill seekers, continue upwards to the second waterfall, which is not recommended by the city with a big warning sign, and I'm not even going to recommend it because it does get slippery and a bit treacherous and scary. But we did it anyway, and for me, it was well worth it because the waterfall was incredible. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. It's just really slippery and muddy. Very treacherous, but so worth it. Oh, 
And of course, a day in Malibu or the Santa Monica Mountains is never complete without a sunset drive on PCH. There is so much magic in not only Los Angeles, but everywhere around us, and if there's one thing I want to leave you after watching this sorta aimless vlog, is that the best cure for when you're feeling a bit blue, or lonely, or stressed, is exploring new surroundings and places that just make your jaw drop. Because if you're not exploring somewhere constantly saying, I have never seen something so magical. I don't know where I am, but this place is serenity. This has to be the most serene place ever. The coolest walkway I have ever seen. This is insane. Then it's time to ditch your routine walk or jog or office or couch and find places that make you feel like you're away from it all. California, you're freaking beautiful. And I love being reminded by it.